there are a few things in life I just don't understand, like, like hashtags. You know, when I was growing up, the hashtag sign was called the pound sign. And I don't think that's taken into consideration enough when people come up with things like hashtag me too. You know? The other thing I don't really understand is why manufacturers are so bad at designing drawers. Not the drawers themselves, but why don't they come up with a better way of adjusting them so we don't have to all live with crooked drawers? Well, if you have this problem, follow these steps and you're never going to have crooked drawers again. First thing I'm going to do here is slide out the drawers and remove the drawer face plate. Depending on your style of drawer, this process will vary, but in my case, I have to remove the mounting clips in order to get access to the screws holding on my face plate. You can see here on my mounting clip that there's a small orange wheel that's meant to help adjust the drawers, but it's pretty much useless. Now I'm going to measure up for my handle. In this case, I have a handle that requires two holes, but you can also do this with a single pull knob. Once I have my holes drilled where I want them, I slide my drawer box back in and then place my face plate in position where I feel it's straight and square. But don't worry, this doesn't have to be perfect because I have a way to make some adjustments after it's assembled. Once you have the face plate where you want it, take a screw and poke it through to mark the box. Now use the same drill bit that you used to drill through the face plate and drill through the box where you've marked for the new holes. Now here's the trick. Take a larger size drill bit, I'm using 3 8 and make those holes bigger, but just the holes in the box, not the ones on the face plate. This is what's gonna give you the ability to make those adjustments later. Now take a one inch washer and slide in the screw for the handle and place it through the back of the drawer. Do the same with the other side and then slide on your face plate. Hold up your handle and tighten up the screws just enough so the face plate can move around but still hold its position. Once you maneuver it and have it exactly where you want it, tighten it up all the way. The last step is to secure the face plate in position. You can do this by either adding a couple of screws, but I don't like to see too many screws, so instead I turn the box upside down and lay it on the edge of a counter, careful not to bump the face plate out of position at all, and then I add a bead of clear caulking. When it dries, it'll keep the face plate in position, even if the handle happens to come loose in the future, as handles sometimes do. The other thing I like about caulking is that it's really easy to just take a knife and cut it if for whatever reason you want to remove the face plate or just adjust it at some point. I repeat this process with the next two drawers and now that I have everything straight and level I should receive a few extra bonus points from the wife. Nah, just kidding. She won't even notice. But my daughter sure will. Well, I sure am glad that I don't have to live in a house with crooked drawers anymore. That's a load off my mind. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. 
Hit the little bell to get notified when we put out a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!